Hello and welcome to Java Practice. In this tutorial I will explain how to download and install the JDK on Ubuntu Linux. Uh, particularly this video is focused on installing U Java Development Kit on the non-RPM based Linuxes. So that includes uh, Debian, uh, Ubuntu, Linux Mint and uh, others. Uh, so first of all we need to download the Java Development Kit from the from this website and uh, the link to this website is provided in the description box below. Uh, click on accept license agreement and then just uh, download the version that is correct for you. Uh, for me it is uh, this version uh, because I am running 64 bits. Uh, ensure what kind of machine you are running. You either you are running 32 or 64 bits and also ensure whether you are on RPM based system or Red Hat based system or a non Red Hat based system. So I'm on Ubuntu so I'll download this uh, but I have already downloaded it and it is in my downloads folder. <coughs> so now I'm going to launch the command window and I am going to uh, copy it from my downloads folder to my home folder. So to do that I'll just use the copy command. Downloads and name of the file it's uh, jdk7 u3 <coughs> linux64 uh, x64 to the current directory which is the home directory and it is copied and now I'll just extract it xvzf and then the name of the file and press enter it will extract it in its very own directory uh, let's navigate into this folder that has been extracted and uh, as you can see there are many folders and files but we are particularly interested in the bin folder so we will go into the bin folder right now and uh, <coughs> in this folder we have some runnable programs that will help us in the development process and well, when we will be making our programs and running and compiling them these programs will be essential and uh, in particular the Java and the Java C uh, will be very much used <coughs> so uh, of course we, we can run these programs right here if we just do dot slash and Java it will run this program but we want uh, the capability to run these programs from anywhere so if I say Java over here yeah, the shell cannot find it it just cannot find where the Java program is. So we need to edit something called the path variable. Now what the path variable is in Linux that um, it's a it's just a bunch of folder names or folder locations. Let me show you the path variable. To do that just say echo and then a dollar sign and then path in capital letters and you get a list it's a colon separated list so each entry is separated from the other via a colon and each of them is a folder location so we have user local s bin and then we have user local bin and then we have user s bin so uh, what these things are is that uh, when we write some command on the command line uh, the shell will look inside first this directory and then this directory and then this directory and so on uh, if it finds it in one of these directories it will run it if it doesn't it will print out something like this uh, right now our shell cannot find the java and the java c so all you need to do is add this path which is the path to these two programs at the end of the path variable to do that uh, all you need to do is write uh, open up this file dot bash rc is the name of the file in a text editor to do that just write this command gedit or any other editor that you have you can invoke that uh, then the name of the file dot bash rc and uh, as you can see we have a file and there are many other different things inside it but you're not concerned with any of them just come to the very end of this file and all you have to do is just write uh, a small thing it's called export 
in capitals path equals dollar path and then a colon and then the location to our programs which is this we just copy it and paste it over here and click save close this and we will close our command line and then reopen it <coughs> and now if you write Java oops Java and we check what version it is uh, just for your information if we say Java dash it will tell what what is the current version of this program and as you can see it is the latest version 1.7.0 and let's also check the Java version of Java C and it is also the latest version now these two programs are well th this program is the compiler the Java C is the compiler by which uh, as I told you earlier in my last lecture this program will uh, convert the Java files into the bytecode and to run the bytecode on the virtual machine you will invoke this command so that's it to installing the JDK on Ubuntu and uh, thank you for viewing.